new business will soon open in a long neglected part of Midtown Tulsa. The stores could be the first to use a new code that makes change easier. Two News reporter Krista Flash is live in the Pearl District. Well, an informational meeting just got started tonight so that people can find out more about what this form-based code means for the neighborhood. When it comes to urban planning, Dwayne Cuthbertson wants to change the rules. That's because the old code doesn't fit with today's ideas. If you've got a small urban lot that you want to put a building on and you realize that you've got to use more than half of that lot just to supply the parking, it doesn't quite work. Especially when it comes to the Pearl District. Rachel Navarro owns two properties. Anybody coming into these buildings has to immediately go for a parking variance under the current code. So the new form-based code will do away with that. They can move in. They don't have to have X numbers of required parking. The proposed form-based code also provides more flexibility when it comes to a building's use. So it's okay for an art gallery to have a bar. Navarro has also leased out space for a recording studio and a coffee shop. The the owner of Joe Mama's Pizza will be adding coffee to his portfolio and plans to be open by February. And this block and a half, I really think that probably in the next 6 to 12 months is going to be completely transformed. It's how Jamie Jamison has wanted the Pearl District to look for the last decade. Uh, what we're trying to do with this neighborhood is make it much more about the human being, much more about traditional urban neighborhoods, walking around, walking in and out of local stores, um, and hanging out with friends. Jameson says the demand is there. It continues to grow as more people choose to live closer to the city's core. The new code provides a framework for developing that urban outcome. This is going to be a catalyst for a lot of positive and fairly rapid change in, in Tulsa, and we need it. Now, the new code has yet to be approved by the Planning Commission and later on City Council. If the pilot works, it's likely that the plan will be implemented citywide. Live in Midtown Tulsa, Krista Flash, 2 News works for you.